Hello everyone, it's Mr. Jordwell. Okay, so let's take all the freaking elephant in the room. Where is Colpoinata? Okay, I haven't given up on the game. And I won't. I won't, I promise that right off the bat. I won't give up on the game because a few people ask me to keep rolling with that, with that game. Uh, but I have to say, and... I know there's fan of that game. There's like quite a fan base of that game actually with kind of... It kind of surprised me. I will be honest with that. And ooh, sorry, the the the, the uh, microphone puff I was on. Okay, no, but yeah, copy another. Um, so yeah, don't go crazy on me, fans of the game. But I will have to say, I quite enjoy the game. But at the point that I'm I in the start of the game, I find it boring. The rest of the game was okay. It's just that particular point where. We have three person, well, at the exception of Bogdanov, we have two other people that died in Russia at the same point in Moscow. And I'm like, cool. But fun fundamentals of storytelling teach us that if, if we don't see it, why do you tell us? I mean, I know it's to create the mystery that a lot of people is dying on Russia that belongs to the Union, but to me it's like... If we could have seen one of those people before he dies in Russia, then it would have given much bigger impact. I know there's a book about... Because actually Kalpainala comes from the, from the book itself. Maybe in the book they did done that differently. I don't know. I mean, at this point... Okay, I have nothing against the novel, actually. Uh, a few novels that I actually want to read myself, but Copenhagen is not one of them on the list. Don't freaking not. Not thinking that it's bad or nothing else. It's just that this kind of setting with a totalitarian mindset, if you want. Like, well, basically the union just telling you what to do, what to eat, how fit you should be in it. Not even depresses me. I just find that it's. I don't think it's bad storytelling. It just to me, it's so not appealing. I mean, in a video in a video game, it kind of uh, it passes because you don't get that feeling very much. But in a book, uh, you get these feelings much more. Uh, am I saying that uh, maybe the story is deeper in books? Well. In a certain way, my opinion is yes, but also no, but that's not the thing. The thing is, right, right now, I'm taking a little break from Colpainada because I, wh whenever I do a video these days, I really had to force myself into it to making those videos. And it's definitely not what I want to do with my freaking channel. I mean, what I want to do with my channel, I want to play what I actually like because then it just goes like, Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Jarwell. We're fucking playing Copenhagen again. Yeah, let's go, let's do that. In a way, actually it would be kind of funny to do that. But, I mean, at this point, before making the video, it will actually, like, take a few hours doing nothing, doing, like, just prepping myself for the video because I, I'm so not into it and I'm dragging my feet. And then uh, while in the video, I complain about the video game, which is when I'm bored, I complain a lot. I know a lot of people love that, but you really want to see that in the video. But I will come back. I will actually force myself to play that game. And I'm not saying like, ah, in a freaking ah, three months, I'm going to go back. No, because I know that I did that with earlier video game series. That I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to finish that. Yeah, Dark Souls 3. Oh, by the way, I'm not going back to Dark Souls. Well, maybe uh, if people demand it enough. But I might just start from the beginning. Because from where I am right now, I'm kind of screwed. Big time. But uh, back to Kapoinata. Yeah, I'm not giving up on the game. And I'm not saying I'm going to be like two more weeks not playing it. Actually, I'm kind of planning on going back maybe this week. Or at the very... Uh, maximum waiting would be like next week big maximum 
just to uh, cleanse myself a bit of Kalpa Inada, because right now I'm at the point where I'm not sure what I need to do right now. I'm. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of ironic that the guy making a walkthrough about the game is consulting rock walkthrough on the side. So just to cleanse myself. Oh, and to that point. Because I know people um, would get mad because they expect to have a walkthrough without having someone talking behind it. The main reason why I do it is because this is the kind of channel that I represent. I'm a Let's Player. I kid about the game. I whine about the game. I bitch about the game. This is what I do. If you want to see the actual story unfold, well, I, I hate to be that kind of a prick but uh, just play it yourself i mean i know that some people just want to be tag along for stories and don't want to have the whole process behind it which i i will i will give you that people like that because actually i'm like that sometimes on, on videos i'm like i would rather just see the story unfold than hear somebody behind this but the problem is eh, you have to go to those types of channel. And I know the problem with Copainada is that the few people that actually uh, do a let's play about that game are actually let's plays. There is like the freaking game footage and a webcam or at least somebody talking over the game. Uh, I say that because I had a hater, which I won't mention name or anything or whatever. I, I think it was a she not sure there i won't assume but basically i received some poop because i was speaking over the game oh and also that i clearly haven't read the freaking novels yeah i won't <laughs> on other games that i would be very like inclined to read any novels like sp weirdly enough dragon age if there's a novel dragon age i would be inclined to read that which is kind of weird to me because it's it's the kind of game that the story speaks more volume in in a video game format than an actual novel though which actually be weird but yeah a uh, number of star wars okay no because there's a star wars game and the novels and kind of separates plus the extended universe doesn't work anymore but yeah but yeah um back to that hater well my first reaction to that was like i have a hater now yeah, I was actually happy. That's the thing. If you have a hater, I, 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 if you have a hater, uh, you have a few options. You could just tack head on with them and argue with them, and that's completely useless doing that. I mean, nothing would get resolved. They're, they're hanging on to their points, and by the way, I'm gonna be that guy, rightly so. They have the right to this point. Yeah, that big freaking loud thing. I just... Sorry about that. But yeah, rightly so, these haters have the right to their points. A lot of people are gonna say like, yeah, they just hate that. Let's them... Actually, let them speak because in some part of that, you're also a hater of something. Maybe you don't write a comment about that because you know better than that and not waste your time, especially if it's me. That you're hating but uh if yeah you're actually a hater of something you, maybe you haven't put a comment on that but you watch something and you're like this is dumb w which it's okay because nobody's gonna love 100 percent ev everything that you're gonna do in life it's gonna be well, at least one person is gonna hate it and one one person that's gonna love it do that for that one person and the hater don't bitch about him because you know what he's there and i'm gonna go further to say like yeah but doesn't have to vocalize that oh yeah sure he doesn't have to vocalize that as it's your right not to put some content but you kind of want to and you kind of want to vocalize about his opinion that your stuff being told crap has the right to do so so I'm going on tangents right now, and I love that crap. <laughs> and I keep 
Nah, I'm just gonna push that. Because I keep, like, freaking attacking everything with my... I'm a very gestural person. Hand waves! You're confused. <laughs> okay, back to the topic. I love doing that. But basically, yeah, you have a few ways to take care of your haters. And, uh, yeah, there's the, like, like I said, just argue with them and nothing gets resolved and you keep arguing and everybody, everybody thinks you're a prick. There is the other way, like, don't listen to them, don't give in to them, don't look at them. If you say comment, oh, it's a hater. Well, haters gonna hate because they only do that, which is normal and I'm not coming down on haters for doing so. I myself, sometimes when I see something, I have the need to comment, c comment on this. And sometimes I can be that worst kind of comment. Okay, not the, oh, it's gay. I try not to go down there, but if I find something very shocking and stupid, I'm, may, I'm not saying that I'm right of commenting. I'm just saying that sometimes even, me, even I will be like, I have to comment on what I just saw. It's dumb. I got all the attention, but back to... <laughs> I love doing that. I love speaking in lengths about stuff like that. Because nobody addressed those stuff about haters. Because they mainly just say like... Uh, you either engage them... Or you either don't. There's the Mr. George World method. Oh yeah, there's a the Mr. George World method to that. And I love it so much. For, well, first of all... If you have hater... Well, haters, I'm speaking <laughs> about myself right now. I have one hater, like maybe a few that I had that actually spoke out. And be happy for that because they found your work. And by commentating on this, they acknowledge your work. Oh, yeah, it's negative comments. Still, they found, they found your work. <clears throat> and the worst part they can do is do the Mr. Jordwell hater method, which is like, hey, you seen that crap? That's dumb. And then you're gonna have one of its friends going like, oh yeah, it's so dumb. And after that, you've gained a follower or a subscriber or whatever. Kind of. In case of YouTube, there are viewers. Don't go with subscribers because subscribers sometimes click the red button and you never see them again, especially with full screen. And I'm not speaking about the little square thing, I'm speaking about the network. They subscribe to you, and you never see them again. It's not this, you want viewers, not subscribers. That's, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't care about having just been in the 2000 after like two years and, and a few months. Like, I don't care about that stuff because I don't want, I don't want subscribers, I want viewers. Okay, nah. okay, after all this time of waiting, Mr. George Well method to take care of freaking haters. First, acknowledge that they're there and accept that it's a good thing that they're there. Because in the same, in the part, even if they can be harsh about what they're saying, it's still, it's sometimes it's still very good. Because they will be harsh. You might not like the harshness of their tone, but sometimes there's a a constructive criticism behind that. Of course, you have to put away all the crap on top. But sometimes they will express a problem that you have in your videos. And sometimes they will be like, yeah, maybe I should look into that. And first of all, if like me, you have an accent in English, which mine is kind of pretty bad. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's pretty bad. Some people tell me like, oh, yeah, it's huge. It's freaking bad. It's horrible. Other people are like, yeah, but you have an accent. It's understandable, so we don't give a fuck that much. Aside that, because that, I, you have an accent. Yeah, I can't do much about that. I live like in a country that people that speak English usually have either a worse accent than mine or their native Anglophones. So what am I going to do? change my freaking nature of being like I'm gonna go back and be born in England for two seconds and I'm gonna start back now I can't do anything about that stop doing videos <laughs> tough luck I'm gonna keep doing that stuff even it's just like freaking speaking like that 
Okay, finally, <laughs> the method acknowledged that the haters are there for a good reason and some, can sometimes bring out criticism that would, can, would be important to grow. I'm, I'm not saying that, listen to every freaking hater. If they're just there trolling you, it's going to be quite obvious. And I mean, they're, they're just there. To, okay, I'm going to say it, they're just there to fuck around. They actually want to go there and make you so freaking upset that you're gonna freaking... I keep going like fucking freaking fucking... Uh, I'm clean. I'm swearing. I'm clean. I'm swearing. But they, they just want to try to see if they can make you quit whatever you do. Because I'm not speaking just about YouTube here. Whatever you do, because you can't have hater in real life. Sometimes people hide behind their keyboard, but sometimes... They don't need that. They can approach you in person and say, you know what, your stuff you're doing is shit. Now, this is the part. Whatever you do in your life, artistic or not, or whatever, are things that you get comments about that. Except that if it's your work and since you're a boss, <laughs> it's not a hater, it's just your freaking boss. Just listen to him and don't lose your job because I said something. And don't hold me accountable for what I'm going to say. Just have fun with them. That's a Mr. Jorwell method. Have fun with them. I'm uh, okay. I hope no, none of my haters are gonna see that video because then I'm gonna lose all my fun with them. All of my haters. All of my maybe two haters. But still, it's very a fun thing to do. Go crazy on them. They're gonna stop very fast. If they're like, oh, yeah, poor quality of video, I just go like, today I ate McNuggets. Of course, it's going to be like, who are you talking about? They were pretty good, but I didn't know what to choose between the barbecue sauce or just go with honey. They usually stop pretty fast. And if they catch on with your subject and they're like, I should have gone with honey or your barbecue. I don't know what haters eat. Same thing that I do because I am. A hater in some part but if they catch on with your subject then you change your subject like i just watch one man punch the anime i, I, I remember actually doing that to a, to a hater it was like they just didn't know what to answer because they understood that there's just no winning with me because i'm doing that i'm doing this channel because well I don't want to say that first is for me, but sometimes it kind of is, especially when nobody views a few of my stuff. Yes, I will stop with Sudeki, don't worry about that. Your sentiment about that game couldn't be clearer. I actually love the game, but uh, I'm going to do less of those. I'm not mad on any part of my viewers. I mean, if they just don't like what they see, they just don't like what they see. It's normal. I mean, I won't bitch about my viewers. I mean, I have the right to freaking record what I want, and they have the right to freaking hate what I record. It's just normal. But um, yeah, just if you have a hater, just have fun with them. But have fun with them. I mean, like I said, it's their right to say very maybe harmful things about what you do. It's the right, and in no way should you be able to remove that privilege from them, because we have the right to express ourselves. The very nature of why you're able to do whatever artistic thing you do. I was about to say artistic crap. I'm already a hater of your work, even though I don't know you. Everything you do is, they have the right to complain about that, but you have also the right of doing that. If, if they don't have the right to complain, then you shouldn't have the right to do that. Get my drift? So, they're gonna be... You're gonna have haters. Sure. Plus, it's kind of a sign that people are seeing your stuff. So, it's always a good thing to acknowledge. Like, like I, I was thinking that at first. When I first I got my first hater, I was like... You prick. And then I started thinking like... Hey, you actually found my channel. You actually viewed my stuff. You actually commented on my stuff. He actually, you put it this like, well, even still, 
he took the time to watch my stuff. So I'm gonna acknowledge that. Oh yeah. And I won't give him... Great time, cell phone. Great time. Really? Really? My, my cell phone. Don't care. I have so much alarm for so much stuff. But I'm just gonna conclude with... Copy and others gonna come... I keep hitting everything with my hands. But Kalpainala is gonna come back. And if you have haters, just mess with them. Just go crazy with them. Just jump from subject to another. They'll understand very fast that you just don't care about their opinion. Well, their abrasive opinion. If you have a constructive criticism, try to listen to it, though. Because it might be a guy, kind of guy, just, I mean, like, I like your videos, but this thing kind of bugs me. And sometimes maybe it would be a good thing to listen to them. So with all that rant and that jumping on the subject because I'm crazy like that. Copenhagen ah, was going to come back. And, oh, I'm going to announce that in another video. Why? Because I like to give to, to, to let you keep guessing when I'm gonna try to announce. So the time we had for today, same channel, same gentleman. Yeah, good people. <laughs> I always keep doing those high pitched sounds that I never understand. How I, each time, like I watch those things, I'm like, how I do that? And then at the end of the video, I keep doing that. I'm like, that's how I do that. I try to. Re Outside when I'm recording, I'm not able to do that. Only when I have this webcam up my face, I'm able to do that. That's weird. That's not an outro gag, Mr. George. Well, yeah, I'm not playing a game right now. Deal with it! <laughs> Comments, you're hating, commenting things down there. So you might see my super method of dealing with haters. See you, good people. Yes, I'm watching my face while I record. I'm narcissistic, that's why. Narcissistic, narcissistic. I love my body.